welcome to Land Around on YouTube here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. <laughs> life is so crazy and fun and, and what am I doing here and oh I'm glad I'm here and we don't have that on the other side. Well if we do we don't we know it's not real but here we think it's real right? So you get to create every single thing you experience here is for the purpose of raising your frequency. That's it. That's it. We get to experience contrast to test ourselves. That's it. There's no good nor bad. All that crazy stuff that's happening is just, what is this? Let's go check this out. And then all these other people go, well, I'm going to participate in that and whatever. Go to the other side and you go, woo. High five, dude. Great job. And the other one like, you sort of fell short a little bit. I think you got to go back. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I, I should have done. Why don't we switch roles again? It really is that. It's a play. It's a, it's a holographic universe. Don't take it so damn seriously. And by the way, have fun. Man, I'm telling you, you can change anything. You have so much power. You have no limits. None. The only limits that we have are the ones we created, we decided to create as human beings. That's why we don't get on roofs and fly. We're not on that frequency here. So we have no limits. You could fly, but you're not on that frequency. So let's deal with the frequency that we're on here and do some cool stuff. What's the rainbow body? All right, so I recently uh, looked into this even further. I saw, I saw something on this a while back. And David Wilcock did a video. I don't watch the conspiracy stuff, by the way. But David Wilcock did a video on the rainbow body. He does occasionally do some things about ascension. Um, and the rainbow body is basically these superly, super highly evolved, usually Buddhist monks, um, or at least the super spiritual people that have trained like 45 years of pure meditation to get to the rainbow body. Why? Demonstrating to us, raising the frequency of the planet. They're doing that when they use like, oh great, I'm here working my butt off and some guy's in Tibet <laughs> meditating for 45 years. <laughs> like, get to work, dude. <laughs> they are. They're raising our frequency by doing that and they're also demonstrations to us. And they're also, that energy that they're sending out is helping us. I think there's like, maybe a couple hundred, is there a couple hundred? Or is it, I, you know what, I, I don't even want to say, I, I, it's a lot more than I expected. Maybe like 150,000 or something. Yeah, I think it's more like 150,000 or 127,000 or whatever. Anyways, it's a lot more people than you would think that achieve this. But on the planet? For like when we have 7 billion people, that's not a lot. But what it does show us, and Christ did this, was the rainbow body. When you transcend from the physical body over to the other side, something happens with this body. Why? Because their frequency is so high in this body that when they transcend over, it's not, it's not a separation like we have of energy, right? Well, there's no separation of energy. The physical body, when we go over, you know, we leave that density and it, you know, it, it's not looking so good. When they transcend, they literally can go, they're actually going to the spirit world while they're here on a much higher level than we do. Like we can do it and we do it in our dreams and all that stuff, but they're, they are, they're trans, they are like, going up to the, you know, the one high energy, right? They're going to the one. They're connecting to the one while they're here. They are, have no ego anymore. Pure light, pure love. They're beaming. Have you ever noticed, like, they're, like, you know, a hundred and some years old and they look like they're 50 or 60? That's why my friend said, if I change my belief, can I, you know, look better? I said, heck yeah. Yeah, you're going to be like running around like a kid. And that's what they do. They 
transcend the rainbow body is the body actually they actually wrap the body up and they display them and this body this it's amazing they look like little kids and they're tiny little things the body shrinks that's impossible for bones too I don't know how they're doing it but it's this this whole example of what happens when you go to that high frequency and that there are rainbows that actually come out from this body and in the temples that they put in rainbows are showing up that frequency and that super high level that they're on is a demonstration that they achieved that while they were in the body and that all they're showing is that everything is possible that they're and most of them they do it like they'll be sitting up and they know exactly when they're going to go and they'll actually tell people this is the time and place and then they transcend and the body dies in a completely different way than we do because that energy within the body was on such a high frequency it's not reacting in the same way ours does so they have this beautiful little bodies that they wrap up and they put on display and there's energy still emitting from that and so they're just transcending in a different kind of way so we have this body you know it's like diseased and all stuff and then we pop out of it you know they're not they're already on that other side they're transcending their human body over to the other side while they're here so I've experienced this in a super awakened state you're actually not in your body so you will stand in the room with people and you will be aware you'll be aware like for me, it was back here. I know Eckhart Tolle said this. I've heard other people say it. Back, you're back here, and it's almost like you're up looking down, and you'll be talking if you want to. It's really tough to talk because you're not really in your body, and you really can't connect to the real world. I mean, the, uh, the, the earthly planet. And you'll be outside of your body looking down and going, you're feeling euphoric, you're not really connected to your body anymore. You're connected more to the spirit world. So you, so you cannot remain completely in your body when you're in a super high frequency. This is why when you guys, I do my energy expansion, I have a guided meditation for total manifestation and energy expansion. I shut the other one down. I got a new one. And you can go in there and we talk about what you are, what's your energy, your beliefs and, ex and we take and expand your energy out. Why? Because you're already there. But until you focus and you put your attention on that energy, it doesn't manifest. So what you want to do, push your energy out. All you're doing is focusing on what exists already. And then you are now connecting to all probabilities, all powers. You're focusing on it. They're always there. But when you put your attention on quantum physics says that's when the wave turns into a particle. So when you're aware of all of this abundance, light, love, and whatever, you'll feel it. So your body will actually feel, uh, I saw studies on this, your DNA, this is all coiled up, starts to open up. Your immune system improves. So this is all physical. It does affect your human body. That's why these guys live to be like in their hundreds. And so you're actually transcending over. Your body is open, it's relaxed, it's beautiful. It's that beautiful energy is connecting. There's no illness or disease because you're not even believing any of that stuff. You're now pushing your energy out and their energy is out. And then, you know, the rainbows, all those beautiful colors because they're already connected to nature and everything else. They're in that high frequency and everything is beautiful there. So even their little bodies... Don't shrivel up and everything because the energy that was flowing through that body was on such a high frequency while they were alive that it reacts differently during death. It's really not too much difference. They're already connected to that higher, beautiful, open frequency. So that body doesn't change all that much when they leave. It's not functioning as a brain or, a, you know, 
the human entity anymore, but that energy was already so expanded out and everything in that body was on such a high frequency that that's the result you're getting. And that's called the rainbow body. That's that high, super high frequency of which Christ was walking around like that. He would have lived forever, forever. And so he transcended upon his human death because he really was never really in that body completely anyways. His energy was all, you know, connecting to everything, you know? Fish, wine, you name it, he could do it. Why? Because he knew he was that energy. He knew he was the one. So that's what the rainbow body is. Now, I don't really recommend going up to the mountains in Tibet for 45 years because I think you have a different mission here. We have to play this out. This is part of our function and our role to show that we can achieve that high level frequency in these bodies, even in this world. It's tough when you're functioning in this chaotic world. So you have to be like a monk and shut all the stuff down not look at it, and you focus on that which is highest, best, and beautiful. That television is not working in your favor. Okay? Focus on highest, best. Can you imagine being that state of euphoria? It's amazing. It's mind-blowing. I mean, just everything is alive. Things look differently. You're seeing it differently. It's amazing. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful. Loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.